Hey Hart fans, thanks for tuning in. Okay, I'm Butch Hartman. If you're new to the channel, don't know who I am exactly, I have created a couple cartoon shows on Nickelodeon over the last many moons. Uh, I've created The Fairly Odd Parents, you may have heard of that show. Danny Phantom, you may have heard of that one too. Tough Puppy, eh, you may have heard of that one too. And my new one, Bunsen is a Beast, which you may or may not have heard of because it's still pretty brand new. But I hope you guys get a chance to check those out. But I've got my own YouTube channel here. We do a lot of drawing videos here. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, Definitely check some of them out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. We really need your subscription because you want to see all the cool stuff we're doing? Subscribe, you'll be alerted so quickly. And, um, you know, we like to look at, uh, I guess, the state of entertainment today and just to see how things are going. And it's really exciting when a new movie comes out and everybody reacts to the trailer. What's the movie going to be about? Like the Infinity War trailer was just a huge hit. The Avengers thing, obviously. Big fan of that. I thought, I thought the Infinity War trailer was better than the entire Justice League movie. But that's a whole different video. We'll get into that later. But today, we're going to be doing a reaction video. I've never really done a reaction video before, I don't think. Have I done a reaction video before? No, never before. I never have. Boy, this is, this is exciting for all of us then here at the Butch Hartman channel. We're going to watch the trailer today for the Teen Titans Go movie. Teen Titans Go on Cartoon Network. Now, I know there's a lot of... Um, I guess you would say discourse or some kind of, there's like an attitude against Teen Titans Go with a lot of fans. But I know Cartoon Network made the show Teen Titans for a couple years, and then they just stopped that show right in the middle of a storyline, ended that show, and then they started Teen Titans Go. And Teen Titans Go was a whole different take on Teen Titans. It wasn't done in a serious way. It wasn't done like in a, a, a Bruce Timm Batman way where Bruce Timm's Batman was all serious and gritty and all this. And Teen Titans was kind of a serious cartoon done told in a real comic book way. Teen Titans Go is completely different than that. It's like a cartoon that's very self-aware and totally makes fun of itself. I don't think they use their powers even that much. It's a real comedy-oriented series. I have seen a bit of it. I think the designs are really cool. I do like some of the writing in it. I think they're very clever. I know they've addressed, like, they've actually had the creators of the show in the cartoon. Something I've never really done on Fairly Odd Parents. Although I kind of did with Dr. Rip Studwell. But anyway, now, will it do well at the box office? I don't know. They're taking a real chance uh, making a movie out of a cartoon series. The only movie I can think of out of a cartoon series released theatrically that was like a huge smash hit was like the SpongeBob SquarePants movie that was based on a cartoon. And I know that Cartoon Network did a, a Powerpuff Girls cartoon back in 2002. And that was 16 years ago. It didn't do very well. Will Teen Titans Go be a huge hit? Here's how it could be a hit. It could go two ways. If it's like the Lego Batman movie, it could do great because that movie made complete fun of itself. It was a DC property, name recognition. People loved it because it made fun of itself in a great, great way. But it's like the Emoji movie that already has like a self-built-in hate to it. You know, you really got to overcome the hate to make people like the movie. So I don't know, will it be Lego Batman or will it be Emoji? I don't know. You kind of got to think when there's a character that's a pile of poop in a movie that you're already starting off really kind of down below the like area. Okay, anyway, all right, let's get into this. We're gonna watch the trailer for Teen Titans Go to the movies. Here we go. Do you know what makes a real hero? I like it's the design. The costumes, the like gadgets, the, the cool powers. Talking to the fourth it's wall. It's having your own movie. Yes. And that has always been my dream. Okay, all these designs, are oh, they're all different, different costumes. What are you doing? Wonder Woman Just costumes. giving the people what they want. It's not about Wonder Woman, it's about us! Not the bad. Teen Titans! No one wants to see us, fool! Wonder Woman inspires people. And we... Tara Strong. ...do not. Uh, yes, Wonder Woman is great, but... I love Wonder Woman! <laughs> Wonder, Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! <sighs> not bad. Timing, that was funny. Narrator guy, just do your thing. Nice. For the creators of Teen Titans Go... We are the Balloon Man! It's about Classic courage. man. I like that. Let's go! It's about action. Not bad, it's not bad. superhero movie to end all superhero movies. Fun joke. Wow. Hopefully. Wow, okay, oh. so... <laughs> so, um... That wasn't a fart! That was just air! Okay. Leave my butt! Which is a fart. Okay. And Titans go to the movies. You know... Because if Aquaman it looks can get good. A movie, it looks. I like the design. Anyone can. I like the line. If Aquaman can have a movie, anyone can. That's funny. <laughs> um, gosh, the whole trailer is a fart joke. The whole trailer. We have 100 percent of the trailer that I watched, and about this much of it was a fart joke, and this much was like the clever stuff. 
You know, and you gotta always understand when they make a trailer, they try and put their best stuff in the trailer to get you to come see the movie. And if that's the best they got, I don't know. I know you're gonna say, Butch, you've had fart jokes in your cartoons. I've had like two, and we tried to make them as unusually differently weird as possible, and I wasn't crazy about them anyway. So yeah, I don't have a lot of those in there. I, I think it's a cheap, easy way to get a laugh, and I, I think most of them don't even get laughs. I don't know, I'm kind of smelling an emoji movie all over this. I think, I don't know, I, mmm. You know, um, I, here's the thing, here's what I like. I like the designs of the Teen Titans. I've always liked the Teen Titans. I read the original Teen Titans comic books back in the 1980s that were done by George Perez and Marv Wolfman. George Perez was an incredible artist. We had Robin, uh, Changeling, that was Beast Boy, his name was Changeling back then. Uh, Cyborg, Wonder Girl, it was Wonder Woman's niece, Wonder Girl, Donna Troy was her name. And then Starfire, that's where Starfire came from, was from those original comics. Oh, and Kid Flash, Kid Flash was in there too. Uh, uh, Wally West, who became the Flash when Barry Allen died and the Crisis in Infinite Earths. It's a whole different thing. I've got a huge fondness for the Teen Titans, big time. They could have done something really clever here, I think, really clever. And they went for a fart joke and it's like, guys, really? And, and then, if it had been one joke and then they went on to something else, I could have been, okay, that's fine. But like, they, that, that, that the whole thing was boy oh boy. A um, couple things I liked. I mean, I did like the acting of the voice actors. I think these are some of the best voice actors that are out there. I know Tara Strong uh, plays Raven and she's in there and she's on Fairly Odd Parents, obviously. And then Danny Phantom has a couple characters. Love Tara. I think the designs are great. Love the way they look. But I do have one, one thing though. It looks just like an episode of the television show. It just looks like an episode of the television show done on a big screen. And I think if you're going to make a movie, you should never do that. When we did a Fairly Odd movie, Grow Up Timmy Turner, we had Drake Bell playing 20-year-old Timmy Turner. We did it all live action. The fairies were CGI. There was a reason to watch it. Just putting a giant episode of the TV show on a big screen, not a big fan uh, for me. Like when they did the SpongeBob movie, they at least... The animation was upped to, you know, 10 levels higher. It looked way better than the TV show. When they did My Little Pony, the movie, they still did it in Flash, but they added shading to it, which just upped the quality level that much more. Hopefully the quality in this is even better than the TV show. Because when you make a movie like this, there's a lot of planning that goes into it. These guys thought about this, they talked about it, which is why I get so bent out of shape when movies aren't good, because so many people work on it, and there's so much planning for most movies that you know that everything's up there for a reason. <laughs> and so that's why I go, well, they could have, maybe they, you know, I respect people that make movies a lot because a lot, it is a lot of work, but yeah, you want it to be good. So I've heard about this movie. I think the synopsis I've read of the story is that Robin's tired of being Batman's sidekick and he wants to get off from under the shadow of Batman. Batman's always in the shadow, so good luck with that. But they all go to Hollywood to pitch themselves to a director as uh, their own movie. And uh, the movie, is directed in the movie, in this movie, the movie, in that movie, uh, movie within a movie, hey, uh, that movie's director in the cartoon is named Jade Wilson. She's the daughter, or is she the daughter of Slade Wilson, their greatest enemy, Deathstroke? I don't know. I remember years ago, Slade Wilson was first introduced in the Teen Titans. His name, as it, when he was in his mercenary costume, his name was the Terminator. Uh, and that came out before the original Terminator movie came out. That was like in 1983. And then the Terminator movie became so big, they changed the comic Terminator into Deathstroke. So a little piece of trivia there. My honest uh, opinion of this is I don't think it's going to do well, but I could be wrong. That's just my own opinion. I hope you guys go and enjoy it. And if it is good, please leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know if you liked it. I would love, if it's good, I will go see it. I would love to see a great movie. I just went and saw Coco because people were raving about it and I had no idea uh, what it was about and I loved it. So I'm, I will take people's uh, advice and go see great movies if they're good. That's my detailed analysis of the Teen Titans Go trailer. Uh, what did you guys think of it? What do you think of fart jokes? I mean, do you think, okay, there was a show, let me just point this out. There's a show on Nickelodeon that they did. Not to bash Nickelodeon, but they, they did a show called Breadwinners. And on Breadwinners, it was all butt jokes and fart jokes. And that's kind of the only jokes they had. And it's like, guys, really, when do we... Do we get into writing some actual, you know, clever dialogue here? I'm not bashing anybody, I'm just pointing it out. I, I just, I think when writers go the extra mile, I think the audience really appreciates it. And I hope they go the extra mile in this movie. Maybe they're hiding all the good stuff from us. Will this get me into the theater? No. Will it get you guys into the theater? I don't know. Maybe it will. Hope you enjoy it. And if you do, let me know. And if you want me to analyze more trailers, let me know that too. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, art gives you power. Use it wisely. Hey!
Hey, Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games downloaded here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag HeartFanArt and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.